Hey, what's up? Sir here. Process of getting this together here. Running a little behind. You know, I've been working on my dark room. And so my entire desk here is an absolute mess. Give you a quick little show of what I've done so far. It takes me a minute to get this going on here. Make this easier. So I've built my little area here. Put my hall of armor up here. Got some that haven't lit up yet. And put my, or actually, put the garage up here. And put my hall of armor down here. This is where I've been showing you guys the videos. And then I redid my Deadpool shelf over there. And I've installed some IKEA lights up here. It's still a work in progress, but let's see if we can't get this going today. I want to open up this Lady Death figure. So I want to make some room here for all of this in order to be able to do all of that. What's going on, Dazel? Looks like it's you and I right now, man. Unless you want me to open something other than the Lady Death figure made by Fison. That was my plan right now. Make some room here. Here's my... A little collection of extra helmets, etc., etc. And here, obviously, is my collection of extra helmets, etc., etc. Dang it, I hate when I do that. I got um, the two Chitauri soldiers in the mail from Big Bad Toy Store. I decided to get those because I didn't have any bad guys for the first Avengers. And you have to have bad guys in order to have good guys. Otherwise, you just have guys. I'm not going to make this perfectly clean. I'm just going to clear off an area here so I can get to work with Spider-Man. Thor sitting on Spider-Man's face. Can't be having that. I'm sure Spidey didn't appreciate that. I don't know what I'm going to do with my Mark 23 shades, man. I thought I had a room here for them. I did not. don't know. Oh, this is my... So, I keep studying Iron Man 3, trying to figure out how they lined up around that um, rig that they had their big battle on, and the order that they were in. I don't know if you can see this, if anything shows up here or not. What kind of figure today, bro? I was thinking about doing that Fison figure for Lady Death, TB League. Anyhow, this is um, from what I've been able to gather, the order that they arrived in. So as I try to line them up, I've been trying to keep this in mind. I don't know if you can see those numbers or not, but it's just uh, to reflect what order I believe they're in. But no, I was going to do the Lady Death figure, unless you want me to do something else. Like I said, it looks like it's just you and I. Got kind of a small chat today so far.
This is the um, Lady Death number two. So, the company used to be called Fison. And I posted a video about how they were stating that somebody would, was copying them and had pretty much absconded their name. So they decided to change their name to TV League. I still call them Fison. And this is the um, number two Lady Death. I think I'd be more prepared. There we go. And where, where did I hide my trusty dusty knife? By the way, golly. Um, I gotta tell you, it's so funny. Just last week on the live channel here, I told my story of um, my only Stan Lee story, which really isn't even a Stan Lee story because I didn't even get to talk to the guy, to the legend. And then he dies. And I gotta tell you, when I was reading the news, of Stan's death. I was actually crying. And I don't understand why. Like I said, never met the guy. But he sure was an amazing man. From what I've read about him, seen about him, and heard about him, he was an amazing man. And what a loss. So, I imagine, I hope, they got his cameo for Captain Marvel and for Avengers 4. Let's see what we've got going on here. So that's the box right there. Let's keep opening this up here. And, obviously, as they were able to digitize, what's his name, Grand Moff Tarkin. From Star Wars. I imagine if they really wanted to, they could digitize Stan. And I don't know what I think about that because the whole thing on his cameos was it was Stan, more or less, you know, in my opinion putting his signature on it, if that makes any sense. So him appearing in the movies, there's a, there's a term that they use in the art world called embellishment, which in the art world, it means that after the painting has been painted or whatever, and they mass produce it to whatever number they decide to mass produce it or whatever quality they're mass producing it in. The artist then goes through and does something to it. He, he, he or she puts some paint on it. Um, oh. Covers it with a layer of lacquer or something. So more or less, they've gone back over and touched it up again. So in my opinion, any time that Stan appeared in one of the Marvel movies, it was like him embellishing 
that movie, putting his signature on it, or like Sardimus calls it, the finger of approval. So, yeah, it would be cool to have him in the movies because we're used to seeing him, but it's not the same as him actually being alive and in the movies. So, obviously, I want to see him in the ones that he's been in before his passing. But that's the question that I have. Do I want to continue seeing him in there because of the importance of him? Or do I think that that's really not the same? Does that make any sense to you guys? So, yeah, like I said, I literally cried when I found out that Stan died. I mean, I'm sitting here reading the news. It, it just had happened. I was fortunate enough to be on the uh, computer when the news broke. And I was like, literally re reading it, crying. Sheesh. And then I thought about making a video about all the appearances he'd been in. And making a video talking about him, but I'd just done that. I'd just talked about him. And I didn't want to lessen anything. This has got some weight to it. It's a little cushion. It's a soft little cushion for her to sit in. It's a neat little throne here. It's got some weight to it also. It kind of feels like leather. So, but I think it's all cast resin. It's really cool. If you want to pose her in her throne. The first lady that didn't come in a throne. She just came with the base. And this base is big. This is this is a big base for a single figure. I have to admit, this is a monstrous base for a single figure. I think it goes like this. I mean, here's my hand, here's shades. Back this up a little bit. I mean, that's a big base. But the nice thing is, is that the chair, you can place it anywhere. You can put it on the base, you can put it off of the base, you could use the base for something else. Keep on going. Let's actually get to the to the meat of the matter, which is the figure. Oh, and it comes with this little skull here. I'm not a big fan of skulls and stuff. This goes up the top. It's magnetically connected. So it goes on real easy. Right up there. I mean it, it wants it wants to attach to it as I as I started approaching it to it. It wants to attach to it. Looks like from the side. Scissors, Zurich Scissors. Hello, man. By the way, there's a huge fire going on north of here. I'm not in any danger of it, but what's so amazing about this fire? And I don't mean amazing as in amazing as in good, but I'm in by how big this thing has gotten. So that was not the largest fire that's ever been in California history or in the history of the world at all, but it's been the most destructive and the deadliest as of last night. I haven't checked this morning. 71 people have lost their lives, and, I, and I'm, I'm really saddened at that. And over, I think, I think it's like over, I don't know, thousands of Thousands of buildings have been destroyed. An entire city of Paradise, California, wiped out. And the way the winds have been blowing, all of the smoke has just been covering where I live down here. And uh, it's devastating. I went out yesterday, ran a bunch of errands, and I, I got winded. I lost my breath being out in it. I don't smoke, so anytime any smoke gets in my lungs, it really affects me. And... I just got winded and just started feeling really bad. And uh, Sardimus 
whom I know well, he's a good friend of mine, he lives further than me, and it, the dust is even out there messing him up. And the poor guy, he's out there working in his garage. He's had to move his uh, workstation out in the garage because of Emitron, and he told me that uh, he's uh, having a hard time dealing with it. And I was like, golly, man, you need to get you some breath. Anyhow, I, I'm really, um, I'm sorry for the loss of those people and it's the city and, and everything and, and the, the dust down here from, or the smoke is so bad. The fire is so bad that it's gotten down here and uh, it's been down here this entire time. The sun doesn't even really come out. It looks like a Martian landscape for the most part all day long out here from the smoke in the sky. It's a mess. Absolute mess. And again, I'm sorry for the loss of those people in the homes. I, um, you really value life when something like that happens. It's a mess. Oh, let's see. What figure from Infinity War are you most excited for? Dude, Bucky's arm. I'm looking forward to that uh, arm, Rick. Uh, Mark 50. Mark 50 is going to be an amazing figure. I've got the accessory pack ordered. I am well. Thank you, Ian. And, and I was totally, like I said, out of breath yesterday, man. I couldn't even breathe. And I just out in it just for a little bit. Couldn't even drive with the windows down in the car or nothing. And I like driving with the windows down. It's, it's fun. But I could not do that. So, front of the package, side of the package, back of the package. Little story of Lady Death here. Death's Warrior. And I missed the first Lady Death, so I definitely was getting this one because of that. Another one of my grails. It's so funny, at one moment I think, oh, I don't have any grails, I got all the figures I want. And then I'm like, the original Lady Death. Oh, well, there is the original Loki. Oh, well, there is the original. Leonidas by Hot Toys from the movie 300 and all of a sudden the, that list of um, that grail list starts growing on me there she is in the package so let's continue getting her out here Avengers 4 will have way more figures than Infinity War I think you are right I, I really thought it was, you know, I got to tell you, when I seen um, Infinity War and Thor Ragnarok, what was that dude's name that was kind of like, uh, he was like the bad guy in Guardians of the Galaxy 2, who had the uh, Infinity Stone in his, his staff. It's like, what happened to him? So hopefully they'll explain that. There's some blood on this. This looks like metal. I believe this is metal. Look how shiny that is. Uh, that's some uh, little blood on there. That looks pretty cool. This figure, um, you can still buy it brand new from Big Bad Toy Store if you like this. I love the Fison figures. I think the Fison figures are amazing. Absolutely amazing. One of the things I was afraid of was that this was going to be blue when I first seen this because the images in all the pictures were really, really blue, and it's not. So I'm pleased with that. I'm pleased that she's not necessarily a blue. She's still white. I, and I don't have the original, so I can't compare her side by side with the original to let you know whether or not she's the same shade or the same color as the original. Come on, camera, focus in on this. There we go. So she's got has no pupils, just the white area of her eye. And the hair on the video is looking all white. It's kind of um, infused with a little blue tint to it. So I don't know if you guys have seen this or not. I hope I'm not boring you with this. 
and I'll move on and I'll talk about any figure you guys want to. I'll show you any figure that y'all want. So don't think that I'm hung up on this alone and I'll stay on this if you guys want me to move on. So this looks like it is going to pull over this. I bought another head. I have two of these. I bought another head specifically for this because I'm not sure if I want to push this on here yet, this helmet. But I bought another head specifically for this. And that's the good and bad of the people who break apart these figures. The one side of the coin is like, oh, man, you're destroying a wonderful figure. The other side of the coin is like, hey, man, can I have that head? Can I buy that head from you? Oh, I need those extra hands. Let me get those extra hands. So that's the good and bad of it. I, it to some degree, I'm like, oh, they destroyed a figure. To another degree, I'm like, oh, yeah, but look at all those extra pieces I got. Oh, yeah, help me clean up. So there's that. Hmm. They've, like, wrapped her. Ooh. They've wrapped her in um, some total on saran wrap. The whole figure here and her top just totally just came off. So the top's not part of the saran wrap here. She's got... Um, She's got her parts right there. Her areola and her nipple are right on there. So let's pop these hands off. Oh, let's talk about these other hands too because I just kind of pulled them out. So there's a pair of like grasping hands. And they are white. I mean, here, let's look at this piece of paper. That's the same color. That is white. So she is white in case you're curious. Whether she's white or tinted blue, she's white. No doubt about it. So here's a pair of grasping hands and a pair of relaxed hands right here with some red fingernail paint on there. And you can see the little wrinkles in her fingers right there. Hope you can see all this. Hope I'm not going too fast on any of this. So this could come apart. The strap on her bustier. Take her hands off so I can take off this plastic here. And this is a steel skeleton. Oh, come on. There we go. That was hard. Which means that's not going to be easy putting it back on, either. Yeah, they literally just wrapped her up. So it's a 2017 skeleton, according to the side of the box. 2017 104A. So it's a custom figure that they made for this. But it's based off of their 2017 figures. Let's see which one is this? This is the right arm. And if you're going to customize a character with a Fison, if it's a Hot Toys character, for the most part, the tans work perfectly well. You don't want to go with a, a pale, unless you're going with a pale, unless your figure's super pale. Because pale's pretty, pale's pretty pale. That's tape in here. We'll tape that one. Cover her before the video becomes demonetized. Jeez, you know, I, I'm, I've come to the conclusion that it's not... When they demonetize it, I don't believe anybody's watching these videos. I don't think for one second that YouTube is out there watching the video and then demonetizes it. I think it's because in my picture for my thumbnail, I'm showing a picture of Lady Death or Vampirella and a lot of skin is in the picture. And I think that's why they're demonetizing it. Or maybe because I put the word Fison in there and they're like, oh, Fison, oh, we better demonetize that. And because I don't have 10,000 subscribers yet, I can't contest it. I put it in there and I'm like, oh yeah, this is wrong. You guys need to read this because there is nothing on here that's negative or bad or not suit for suitable for anybody. And 
they don't review it. They're like, yeah, okay, thanks, uh huh. Because as far as they're concerned, I'm a nobody. You know, not famous, not worth their time to remonetize the video. They'll do that once you hit 10,000 subscribers. Come on. Jeez. This is the first time I've seen them totally just wrap a figure in saran wrap like this. So anyhow, I'm going to stop putting the uh, thumbnails of the actual figure and see if that stops anything. Because I've had Mrs. Emerald, <laughs> my wife, look at the videos and I'm like, baby, come on. Is there anything that I did in here that's inappropriate whatsoever? And I got her finger of approval. So, you know, play on Stan Lee's finger of approval. So I have no doubt in my mind that they're just being stupid. So what can you what can you do? Golly, come on now. Ow. So this little literally just slid right off of the top of her thigh over here on this boot. I thought the boot, it was attached to the boot, but evidently it's not. So there's this. And her joint is really articulated a lot. Typical Fison style. Slide that back up there. So, let's see if she's totally anatomically correct. Some of the figures are not. This one appears to be glued on. That's glued on down there. I'm not going to mess with it anymore. So that's good. Her, her bottom is glued on. The top is popping off a lot. Looks very similar to the one on my Sparta Warrior, Lady Sparta Warrior. I love. Love all my figures, man. I love them all. Alright, this is the right. Let's put it on the right. This is the left. Let's put it on the left. Underneath here, there's some more stuff. Let's give her a head. I don't know if you guys are familiar with fights and figures, but they are super articulated. You can pretty much bend these in any way that you so see fit the um, the waist is super articulated this is not wanting to stay up so you can bend her waist back like such and you can bend her waist forward as such and side to side. There's the side. Side to side. And you can actually make her do a full on total split in both directions. So you can put these in any position that you want. They are beautifully designed, beautifully sculpted, and with the stainless steel skeletons, which I think are 17, 2017 and the hires, maybe 2016s. I don't remember what generation they came out with the stainless steel. You can move them without them being totally click, 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 click as such. This just does not want to stay up. Now the other little thigh has come down. So I'm going to do a little messing with this. So inside this box there's more stuff. So let's get to more stuff here. Stay. You unbox the Iron Spider. Iron Spider's not out, dude. It's not going to be here until next year. 
The Iron Spider, that's going to be an exciting one. I remember when that one came out in the comics. Oh, that was cool back then. So, yeah, I was pretty stoked when I seen that. Uh, I didn't know of Fison until Denobi, too. Yeah, that's a good friend of mine. I've never met him in person. I've met, um, of course, Sean Long and, and uh, Sharmus are in my neighborhood, um, part neck of the woods. So I, I've, I've chilled with both of those guys. I know them um, through the community. I didn't know them before 1-6 scale collecting. And uh, I've spoken many times with Denobi, and I would love to meet him. I would chill with him totally. And uh, he has been very successful with his fights and videos. And he, he kind of is a, a puppeteer as a hobbit. Hobbit? Hat. Hobby. That was a hobby and a habit turned into one word. He's, he's kind of a, a puppeteer as a, as a hobby. And so it's really cool to see what he does. I love watching his little videos. A little plug out there for Denobi. Denobi 2. So she comes to the Psy. I think that's how you say that. S-Y-T-H-E. I think it's a Psy, right? Oh, I didn't know that Iron Spider was that far away. I just pre-ordered it. Yeah, man, you're going to love it when it comes out. I think it's going to be a great figure. This is plastic. Her sword is metal. This is plastic. The sword's got some heft to it. And here's her cape. It has a wire in it here. And a wire around the base. And that's it. No other ribbing in the middle. So with that, you can pose it. You can pose it up. To put some wind effect into it. And this is going to go around the neck. Get her little... Can you still see her there? Yeah. The hands that came with her, they're not true fists. They're actually holding something hands. So the fingers are not connected, so they can be opened up. And we can put her in on this sword if we wanted to. We can put both hands on the sword. Two-handed sword as it is. Either up in a fighting pose or you can put him down. As though she's resting on it, or however, in that manner. And I think I'm going to use these hands. I normally go with the um, relaxed hands, but I'm definitely going to use the sword. No doubt about it. So, a beautiful Fison figure here. Love her. I'm going to love her in the first place just because she's a Fison. I'm going to love her in the second place because she's, she's so unique in the coloring of the skin it's just really cool it's a unique figure i like the uniqueness of them so um blue figures white figures red figures green figures just because they're unique it's really neat um Fison gamora would be amazing i bought a figure to do a array and it was so funny i was working on my array before Denobi did it. And as soon as he did it, he did such an amazing job. My raid literally got shelved. She's in a box someplace. And that was as far as I got with Ray. Because she came with my BB-8. And I was really buying the BB-8. I love Star Wars. I just don't have the room for anything other than just some select Star Wars figures. Dude, I would freaking totally geek out on Star Wars as well. And buy every single... Star Wars figure that came out and there's a lot of those man and I would buy Superman and I would buy Batman and I would spend the rest of what little money I have and stop eating just to get all of these figures except they would be pointless because I've got no place to store them I mean I have no place to store these figures so 
I'm sorry for you know if you guys that wanted me to do Batman and and uh, the such. I I just don't have it now. If money were no object, and I were rich, which I am not, I work hard for my money, as I'm sure a lot of you do. I would buy these figures and sell them and take a loss because it's very rare that you actually turn a profit on them immediately where you can just buy a figure and turn around and sell it for seven or eight hundred bucks. It's very rare. But I just I would buy every single one and then just sell it or even give them away to you guys. But that's obviously not an option at this point in my life where I can do that. Yeah, if all I had to do was just have a figure delivered to me and I could open it up and review it and use that as a job and not have to work a real job 40 hours a week, I would do that, man. But I can't, so I don't. So here she is. Let's give it a little zoom in on her. Let's see what we got here. Some people got it already, that Spidey. I don't, I don't think anybody's got the Iron Spider from Hot Toys figure yet. That's the one with the articulated arms. There are some Iron Spideys out there, but I don't believe the Hot Toys Iron Spidey has been released yet. Where do you buy your Tony heads from, and are they Hot Toys or third party? 99% of them are Hot Toys, and I get them from eBay. Um, I also buy them from 1-6 Kit, and I've asked him uh, if he wants me to plug him. He never responded. I buy a lot of stuff from 1-6 Kit. Big Bad Toy Store is where I buy all my figures, toys, and collectibles. But for like the Tony Heads, eBay. I just search eBay for them. Um, they're Mark 33, Silver Centurion. They made a lot of them, and that head sculpt has been a favorite of mine. I've used it a lot in, in my custom modifications of the helmets. When I open them up and put a, a head in there, I use the Mark 33. So like up here in this... Uh, Mark 20 Python. That's the Mark 33 head that I let's get this my coffee up there. Or my coffee. My coffee. Gotta have my coffee. That's a Mark 33 head right there. Inside that Mark 20 Python. I made that, by the way. I cut out a Mark 20 helmet and put that head sculpt in there. A little video where I showed that when I first did it. This, I told you about the other head sculpt. Here it is. That I bought for the helmet. So let's go ahead and pop this little helmet on here. eBay. I bought this on eBay. I've bought stuff from Facebook too. There we go. Oh, that looks good. If you guys can see that or not. It looks really nice. I like that. Got an email from Sideshow on October 29th. I got an email from Sideshow saying that my concept Captain America was coming, that my Dusty Deadpool was coming, and T'Chaka was coming. I did not get an email telling me that Iron Spider was coming from Sideshow. But then again, I ordered the Hulkbuster the first day that it was announced within minutes of it popping up. And I was like the last dude on the planet to get a Hulkbuster mailed to me that I paid for back then from Sideshow. So, I don't know what the deal is with Sideshow and me. They don't like me for some reason. Ryan will be arriving into our warehouse earlier than anticipated. Your item is not expected to arrive in December 2018 to January 2019. So, then nobody's got it yet if it's coming between December and January. I don't know. Really, one of the guys in Instagrams, he has it. The head is magnet. What? Mark 40. Love the Mark 40, dude. The 23 Shades is the same figure. We talked about this last week. And uh, showed it off. And the Mark 40 is for sale still. Bro. You can get that through Big Bad Toy Store. You think I work for them? I plug them so much. I don't. I don't work for Big Bad Toy Store. I work for a lo local company here in California. 
systems administrator take care of all their computer needs. All right, so let's move on. I, I have, I have Daredevil the Mask, I have Rocket, I have a couple Chitauris, I bought another Star Wars R2-D2, I have the Guardians of the Galaxy Star-Lord, I can open up a Star-Lord. I have the original Rocket and Groot Deluxe set. Y'all want to see a Chitauri? Where is she going to be displayed? My goodness. Oh, if you've been following my videos for a while. So, my uh, Doctor Strange box was sent totally broken and messed up. 100% from side, from uh, hot dogs. And so, I bought a box. I bought a Doctor Strange box. I'm showing you my Doctor Strange over here. So I'm trying to get to. Got my Doctor Strange over here. Oh, and I, those are more shelves. I'll put some more shelves up here and uh, be able to display more figures on, the, on that there. So that's little shelves I'm going to put there. A little Camaro. I want to get that painted. I want to paint it like my Bumblebee that I own. Vampirella. A Red Skull. Johann Schmidt. Alien figure. Alien, uh, alien angel. And Gamora down there. But anyhow, my Doctor Strange... When they sent me a busted up box that didn't work, you know, because the Doctor Strange box has this really cool um, feature to it. You spin the little and it opens up. And I was really upset that Hot Toys sent me a busted box that didn't do anything. So I bought another one. So when I bought the other one, I decided, you know what? This is a pretty cool little thing here. So I cut that out of the box. And I'm going to figure out a way of displaying that in front of my little Doctor Strange over there. Like as if he's actually casting that. So that's what I'm doing with this, by the way. So, please show what. I don't know if I showed you guys this. This is the near, I don't know if I'm saying that right. Near Automata figure. I like her hair on this. So I ordered her specifically for her hair. And this is gonna go on a Fison figure. Here's her costume. This is made by Super Duck. So I'll be putting this together. Comes with a couple of swords. This is going to be a really cool figure. Putting that together, that will go on a Fison. That's what that is. How much would you charge for a Python head sculpt? Ah, oh, dude, I would mail you my Python head. Uh, well, I would also need you to mail me a head sculpt to go in there because they've become increasingly rare. So I would do that. I would do that to any figure. Actually, you know what I would do? I would probably just mail 
that way there's no pressure on me to get yours done so i would send you some really good pictures of this and then you can uh, tell me what you think and the helmet and the inner head sculpt and like i said that's from a mark 33 silver centurion um because each of those cost me i think i paid 70 dollars for the helmet and 70 dollars for the head sculpt so that was 140 bucks right there over and above the price and i did that because i still wanted to have the original mark 20 head sculpt which i have here i just moved them over into this box so i don't know the labor on that i'd have to figure it out i'll get with you on that man uh, show the Chitari. Got it. So I bought both the Commander and the non-Commander. And, because those are available still brand new from Sideshow, or um, from Big Bad Toy Store, with $150 store credit. So it makes them like 100 bucks. So I'll, I was like, alright, so I need a bad guy. And for 100 bucks. That's a pretty good deal. But it just came from big, 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 the big, 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 and so that one will come to me for the most part free. So it's like a buy one, get one, <laughs> buy one, get one figure, truthfully. So you, you can either look at it as paying $260 for a Tatari and then throwing in a $150 figure. Or you can look at it as paying only 100 bucks for the Tatari. But... As you guys have probably already seen, because I think you guys are on top of things and pretty well educated. So this is the foot soldier. I also have the commander. It looks like the new Avengers movie, continuation of the Infinity War, Avengers 4. I think they... A lot of people are theorizing that it's called Endgame, by the way. Anyhow, uh, it looks like they're revisiting the Battle of New York with the Chitauri. So that's kind of what I was talking about there a little bit ago when I got kind of side. I was saying to the guy that, what is his name from Guardians of the Galaxy that had the Infinity Stone in his his uh, staff, who was kind of like the ruler. Ronan, I think was his name. We never got to see what really happened to him. It's like all of a sudden, here's Thor Ragnarok, and here's Avengers Infinity War, and, and what the hell happened to him? Obviously, the, Thor, uh, Thanos had... Here's this box here. Thanos had the Infinity Stone, but we didn't get to see what happened to him, so maybe we'll see some of that in the next Avengers 4 movie. Yeah, yeah, you bet, man. We'll discuss that. We'll discuss that about that head sculpt. And same thing for any of you guys, if you want that. Like I said, I've done it for... I've, I've posted the videos of the ones I've done it for. Four or five of them. And increasingly, man... Each one that I had done became more and more difficult, more and more complicated in the workings of it. No one ever sold a Mark 23 head sculpt, so I, I didn't get that. Got a Mark 26, Mark 25, I was going to do those. Uh, no one ever sold a Mark 24 head sculpt by themselves. So some of the exclusive figures I've never had an opportunity to do. There's the back of the box people responsible for this figure so this guy's been out for a while and they I, I assume they made a whole mess of them because they were planning on people building armies I'll kind of have an army then because I'll have four because I got the other two ordered from eBay which haven't come yet I've ordered them as a set which comes with this uh, an extra gun I think that's the only difference between the set and the pieces. You know, if you buy the, the 
foot soldier and the commander is, is the extra firearm. Other than that, I think it's identical pieces. And even uh, the base between the foot soldier and the commander are identical. So all the little junk here is the same. Ugh. This feels like this is coming apart, but it's not. It was just a sensation on my fingers it feel, because it's it feels like charred earth, which is what that's supposed to represent is literally charred earth. And, and it, literally it was weird because when I put my finger on it, I'm like, oh, it's coming apart. And there's no residue on my finger. It's not coming apart at all. They just did such a great job with that. That actually felt like that, dude. That was creepy. 2014. So that tells you how long this figure's been around. A little piece of brick here. That you can store any way you want. Use for other scenarios. Some more destroyed earth right there hope you guys can see all these little pieces so I'm gonna have four of these one-way signs as each one each figure comes with one and another little brick just a little brick so a lot of destruction here Ah, the clear plastic pole. I love these, and they're rare. And so I'm glad to get one, because I can put them in my House Party Protocol Hall of Armor there. I love these for that purpose. So I'm glad to have four of these. I'll just be, I'll be displaying my Chitauri's probably with a, a regular pole. So that's cool. Ah, and these are rare also. This is a lobster claw without the back support, which is critical um, because the difference is the ones with the back support, and I'll show you. Uh, I've got one someplace close by. There is a lobster claw. Anyhow, so there we go. Right, jeez, right there. All right. Same diameter, okay, the two are, but the one with the back brace is further away from the pole, okay? And sometimes you want your figure closer to the pole. So these without the back brace allow you to display your figure closer to the pole than the ones with the back brace. So there are instances where I wish I'd had the one without the back brace, so I just got four of these. Yay. I'm getting more and more excited about this figure because of the extra junk that comes with it than necessarily the figure. I haven't even got to the figure yet. I'm already super excited about this. All right. Uh, let's see. Here he is in his package. Double extra hands. His firearm, the figure, and ball joints. So these guys, their hands are much different than ours. They have like uh, multiple posing fingers. So we have our posable thumb. They have like two posable thumbs. Oh, that's not another hand. It's another head sculpt. Thought that was another hand. No. No. That is another. It's not a head sculpt. It's a helmet. Jeez. Okay. So I thought that they took like this mask off. So you either, I guess, have them with the helmet or without. And you see his head. Ugh. He looks creepy. Looks like a giant brain. Ugh, look at that. There's actually some. Okay, let's let me get. Okay, let me get the rest of the stuff out of here. Let me... Well, that came out easy enough. Let me get the rest of the stuff 
out of this package so I can talk about this figure because I'm discovering him as we go here. Because I've just seen something that looks really cool. And I'm getting really excited about this figure. This dude's like a sleeper that uh, I'm really happy I got. So because I was talking about the hands, let's talk about the hands. So they have five fingers, all right? But they have like two opposable thumbs. And this hand is much larger than there's Iron Man Mark 41 Bones retro armor hand. So the fingers aren't necessarily longer, but they're thicker. And the grip is wider. But they have like two opposable thumbs. So that's unique. Three fingers, two thumbs per hand. So I always thought that was pretty cool. So this left hand kind of has like a thumbs up. This right hand is kind of a holding. And these are the little uh, wrist joints. And here's this little firearm. Literally, firearm. Because you are going to snap this into his arm, if I remember correctly. Would have been cool if they put batteries in this. I didn't see any batteries. So I'm assuming there's no batteries. So I'm assuming this doesn't light up. I don't see a switch or a panel that comes off. So let's continue on with this figure because as I was looking at his head, I started getting excited because his head looks like, initially it looks like it doesn't pivot, but then I was like, ah, oh, that head does pivot. That's just popped the arm clean off. Don't they have like an, an outrider coming, supposedly? I've not seen him able to be ordered yet. But he sure was being showed off at cons. I hate when they tape this on. They should just like put it on and save the tape in their department, so they don't have to cut and yank and pull on these to get these off. So these guys don't wear boots, it's just their feet, and that is a very solid, big foot. about the size of a Iron Man figure there. I don't know if you guys can see that Mark 23 shades here. Spin that around a little bit. Get his little arm back. That's really pretty. I like that. That's a good color. Real shiny there. I like that too. Long forearm. One, two, three, four, five, six clicks. A little shiny there too. So they put a little a lot of shiny areas on here. It really makes this really pretty. But But what uh, I want to talk about here, because I've just seen this, that looks like leather, uh, but uh, it's not a cloth there. That's cool. I did that. Let's talk about how articulated he is. He has no waist articulation. 
You would think he does, because there's a seam here. But nothing spins there. Nothing at all. A little back brace on there. So, anyhow, this head, I was looking at this and I was like, this head doesn't move. But, as I started trying to move it, it moves. So this is connected here to the head, to his chest. But you actually do have some movement. You see that? You can actually move him slightly. I wouldn't move him much, but he can be moved ever so slightly. So that is a good saving grace. And look at the shine on his body. That's really neat. I'm digging that. And the helmet. Ah, ha 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 ha, ha ha ha, yeah, so it does come apart, there we go, okay, so you can put his little helmet on as such, it doesn't really stay on very well in that manner, just kind of chills, but he can take his little face mask off, which is, you know, I remember in the movie when, you know, they're, they're screaming at each other when they took down is because they'd just taken down that giant uh, ship that they're traveling on and uh oh like hulk smashed it to the ground or something i don't remember because that was like you know the big reveal when they kept asking him how do you how do you keep from getting angry or let's get you angry and and bruce banner turns around and goes that's my secret i'm always angry and he hulks out and we learn then that he can he has hulk pretty much on call at that point and later we learn that that's different so, but anyhow, so this, this comes off, which is cool. So we can do that scene where you can either have them on or off or half the helmet or not the helmet or whatever. So what a cool figure. Um, hundred bucks is amazing. He's easily a hundred dollar figure. No doubt about that. Uh, not disappointed at all in that price getting him all for him and I recommend him to you guys if you want to get a good price on a figure and have a $150 credit you would pay full price for him and get your $150 credit or just consider him a buy one get one figure like I said I got my purgatory figure coming I just told by Big Bad Toy Story that's coming soon which means essentially I'm getting her for like free because of the $150 credit that's what he looks like right there all right guys I've kept you for a while I appreciate all of you hanging with me this morning I really enjoy this time with you guys and uh Zoom on this guy. I really like this 21 Chrome. Really digging that guy. I've always liked him. And as we were talking about earlier, the Mark 20 Python. Really digging that figure. And I've put the uh, retro forty one right here. I haven't got them specifically posed in yet, so thank goodness for that Chitauri base. I can make put the better one in there that I really want in there. And this guy looks really amazing.